Today's world can be said to be a sea century, any country in the world if you want to better development, it must actively develop the international trade of the ocean, every day the busy container loading and transportation in the ports of various countries is the best proof. But the port with a large gantry crane is a highly complex and sophisticated electrified machinery and equipment, the world can manufacture large gantry crane enterprises are few and far between, this technology is only in the hands of individual countries, is basically a monopoly technology, and can design and manufacture reliable quality and affordable products of enterprises, it is rare. But there is a company in China, almost monopolizing 80% of the international market of large gantry cranes, almost to the extent that, where there is a container port in the world, there should be Genhua's port machine. Good, the company that makes Chinese people proud, is Genhua Heavy Industry, ZPMC. According to the survey and statistics given by the world's authoritative media on freight transport, the British World Cargo News, just from June 2015 to June 2016, a total of 271 sets of shore bridge machinery were delivered worldwide, and China Genhua Heavy Industries accounted for 82% of them, with a total of 222 sets of shore bridge equipment delivered. Genhua Port Machinery sells its products to 95 countries all over the world, no matter in the United States, the European Union or Africa, and the market share in Europe and the United States has reached more than 90%, and has been the first share in the world port machinery market for more than 20 consecutive years, which is truly the king of port machinery. Number 3261 Dongfang Road, Pudong New Area, Shanghai, is the location of the headquarters building of Genhua Port Machinery. This building has ushered in four presidents, but no matter how personnel changes, the founder of Genhua Heavy Industry, the first president Guan Tongxian's office has always been retained. Today, Guan Tongxian, who has retired from the position of president for nearly 10 years, still arrives at his office on the 21st floor by 7 o'clock every day. This kind-eyed old man makes it difficult to link up with the man of the hour who straddled the international harbor machine market 20 years ago and defeated strong rivals such as Japan, Korea, the United States and Germany. In 1978, after the implementation of China's reform and opening up, foreign trade surged year by year and became the largest share of exports in just a few decades. In such a background, Chinese port-related equipment-type enterprises developed rapidly. However, in the 1990s, the port machinery industry, which is related to port throughput capacity and shipbuilding capacity, has been monopolized by foreign countries, and more than 95% of China's port machinery market has been occupied by port machinery companies such as Japan, South Korea and Germany. At this time, Guan was the director of the China Port Machinery, when most of China's port cranes are imported from abroad at high prices, many of which are still second-hand goods eliminated by others. But spare, China's domestic port construction or had to buy these devices, the reason is that Chinese enterprises lacked design experience, low production levels, and even made the failure rate of port products, not as good as foreign eliminated second-hand goods. Deeply aware of the current situation of Chinese port equipment, Guan was worried about this, in his own words, you see the arrogance of foreigners? They simply look down on us, but there was nothing they could do even though they were holding their anger in their hearts, and this was the current situation of China's port machinery industry at that time. But Guan was not a submissive person, he wanted to release the anger he was holding in his heart, and he wanted to make the Chinese people's own harbor machine products better and stronger. In the year when Guan was 59 years old and nearing retirement, it decided to go into business to manufacture the best port equipment in China. In 1992, with a capital of 1 million US dollars, Guan and a few like-minded friends started a business in Shanghai and named the company Shanghai Genhua Port Machinery Company. The word Genhua in the company name was the original intention of Guan when he started the business, and Genhua also means revitalizing China, which shows that Guan started the business with a high patriotic passion. This is also true, as patriotism has been an integral part of the company's corporate culture since its inception. With this defiant fighting spirit, Guan led a dozen people at the beginning of the business, tossing and turning in a small factory building to figure out the port machine, due to the company's financial constraints and the lack of mature port manufacturing technology, 
resulting in dozens of them even to imitate other people's products are difficult. But the conditions are so difficult, Guan is still full of confidence in the prospects of Zhenhua, and he shouted out his wish in a meeting, where there is a container operation in the world, there must be products of Zhenhua port machinery. He shouted out his wish in a meeting, where there is a container operation in the world, there must be Zhenhua's products, all Zhenhua people also hold their breath to fight for China. Although the slogan of the old tube was loud, but still had to face the current situation of the company, the annual shipments of Zhenhua Port Machinery Factory at the beginning of the establishment was not even as good as the similar company, Shanghai Port Machinery, to know that Shanghai Port Machinery can only do one or two door cranes a year plus some bulk machinery, Zhenhua's situation was once very dangerous. In order to save costs, Guan, at the age of an old man, lived and ate with the factory workers, starting from imitating other people's products, decomposing and drawing the product parts one by one, understanding the principles, and gradually accumulating some of his own technology. In order to make the company profitable, Guan ran business everywhere and called constantly. In order to engage in product manufacturing, Guan also pulled down his face to beg others to make parts and engage in assembly everywhere. Looking back on this period of the company's experience, in Guan's own words, it was a shell company. But what is important to know is that the Chinese market had just opened up and the development of Chinese manufacturing was not mature, so most of the Chinese startups were developed by this method. At that time, it was very difficult for China to do business with European and American countries. But at the end of 1992, Genhua beat international giants such as Mitsubishi of Japan, Krupp of Germany and Samsung of South Korea to get the order from Vancouver Port of Canada by the cost advantage. This is the first single of Genhua industry, although the offer is 30% lower than the peers, but the quality is not worse than the peers in any way. In the words of Guan, the first single does not expect to earn money, is to tell the world that we have the ability to go from 0 to 1, but also from 1 to N. Later, China Genhua's port machinery products almost monopolized 90% of the U.S. port machinery market, and the U.S. port and shipbuilding industries were highly dependent on China Genhua's port machinery products. U.S. ports need ZPMC's gantry cranes for container loading and unloading, the U.S. manufacturing of large warships and even 100,000 tons of nuclear carriers also need ZPMC's gantry cranes, otherwise the U.S. ports will not have large port machines available and large ships will not be manufactured properly, which is the strength of China Genhua heavy industries. So how did Genhua grow step by step to become the king of the world port machinery market under the leadership of Guan? In fact, Guan Tongxian has mentioned several times on different occasions that it is necessary to adhere to independent innovation. Driving new product development with innovation and improving the premium capacity of products with core technology, which in turn improves the quality and profit of products, also improves the viability of Genhua. Guan has said, we are in the whirlwind of competition and never slacken on technological innovation. Back then, in order to encourage innovation, Genhua put out 5% of its annual output value into product development and innovation, and put out an additional 10 million renminbi each year as a reward for employees with outstanding contributions, and it is known that the highest reward can be up to 1 million renminbi. In terms of innovative talents, Genhua has spared no expense to set up a strong scientific research team. Among the company's 1,500 managers, more than 600 employees are scientific researchers. Under the guidance and incentive of Genhua's company-wide top-down innovation mechanism, Genhua has also made remarkable innovation achievements. According to the official website of Genhua, Genhua has applied for 223 domestic patents, 103 invention patents, 113 utility patents, 24 valid international application patents, and 28 national key new products. Genhua has also launched technical research on the transport vessel carrying the port plane. Since many countries prohibit the assembly of port equipment in their own ports, the port equipment produced by Genhua must be transported as a whole in order to be exported smoothly. However, we should know that the port equipment is large machinery and equipment, and the long, heavy and long transportation once affected the delivery cycle of Genhua's equipment. 
At that time, only Dutch dockwise company in the world could provide the service of transporting this kind of super large machinery and equipment, but the freight cost was more than $1 million each time, and the profit of a hard-working harbor machine equipment was half of the profit taken away by the transportation link. In order to get rid of the situation of being restricted by others in the transportation of port equipment, Genoa decided to build its own transport vessel to solve the problem of logistics completely. Starting from buying a large second-hand transport vessel, Genoa researched and modified it step by step, and mastered the manufacturing technology of such large transport vessels in a short time, and had at most 29 transport vessels of 60,000 tons to 100,000 tons. As a result, Genoa has not only ensured the delivery time of equipment and won the trust of customers, but also become the only manufacturer of port machinery in the world that can manufacture and transport by itself. Relying on strong independent innovation ability, ZPMC's products have become more and more competitive and have been recognized more and more in the international arena, raising the flag of Made in China high. In addition to providing high-quality and inexpensive products, trustworthiness is also the key for Genhua to win customers. In the export of Omani shore bridge equipment, as Genhua was still in the technology accumulation period, there was a problem of improper design of its field bridge running gearbox, after discovering the problem, Genhua did not shirk its responsibility, but determined to replace all the 40 problematic gearboxes for free at one time. Genoa had recommended the use of German Deutz diesel engine, in its export of a variety of equipment are due, but these German diesel engine at the beginning of the use of functional stability, long-term work exposed a lot of problems, although it has passed the warranty period, but Genoa still free to replace the damaged parts. Nowadays, Genoa port machinery has become a business card made in China and is widely seen in all major ports in the world, including Canada, USA, European countries, Brazil, Venezuela, Thailand, Singapore, Sudan, UAE, and other countries. That's it for today's sharing, feel free to share your comments and we'll see you in the next video.